here's a frame design that, that I thought I would make. It departs from your basic black and leaves a little uh, transparent line around around the edge so that you have a black and then part of the image from the the artwork can shine through can show through from the outside you see um, here you can see that part of the color shines through so uh, this is a pretty simple project uh, to make it all I used was a piece of tape actually this is this is pen striping from the automotive store and here I'll, I'll make a, another one so that you can see it. I'll make it, show you how um, we did it. Be, and you put this on before you paint it. So I'll put this away and get another sample. And here we go. This is all there is to it. All I did was took this tape, put it on. Just like that. And I went right over the um, the mitered corner, and then cut it off. So all I did was just eyeballed it and found what was approximately the same distance, and cut that off. pressed it down really tight. I actually, uh, this one doesn't seem to be uh, square on this side, so I'll, I'll peel it up and place it down again. Now, normally you would use a squeegee anytime you're putting tape down like this, but I don't happen to have one handy. But interestingly enough, you can use any of the edges on the molding and it becomes a squeegee because it's nice and smooth and rounded off. It's made of the same material so there's there's very little chance that it's going to scratch anything. And so I I take this put this on and and then went and uh, I spray painted the I spray painted that one. So um a lot of times you you might see that green painter's tape, but the green painter's tape doesn't work for this kind of work. It, that works great if you're painting a wall, but since uh, this material is so so nice and smooth, you get from the painter's tape you get a really rough edge, and I wanted something that cleaner than what you can get with that. So yeah, yeah, you just peel this back, place it place it on again. They have striping tape in the hobby stores if for airplanes and cars as well. You, you can use some of that to do the same job. You can get it in lots of different thicknesses as well. It's good to get it where it, where it comes over the other piece of tape as well. So there. On that one, I think I, I actually, I think I took it too close to the edge. So what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to cut it back some. I'm going to cut it back to about there and leave it trailing. I don't think I'll paint this one black and white black though. I think I'll, I'll choose another color before I paint this one. If I leave the, this, the stripe on there, yeah, I may as well. But you can't do this with any other kind of molding. It has to be, it has to be transparent if you want to be able to see through it. One last, one last bit. There we go. So now all I have to do is, is paint this and it will turn out like this when it's done. On this one, if I put a color behind it like, like that, you'll see that it, it's on all the other sides. But on this one, I wanted, I wanted the side to be black on this particular frame. 